Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Maddie's Corner. Come on in, pull up a seat, relax, and let's get back into some Finnick Mod with Grey Ghost. Yeah, hello everybody. Well, we just recorded Welcome to Canada, and, uh, well, you guys will see how that started and went. <laughs> and about as soon as we log into Finnick Mod, we've got a nice little horde, so, um... We took care of them, and now we're just hiding inside until daylight. Uh, as you can see, you know, last episode I said I was going to get some of this grind done off of camera and start getting our walls up. I've done that, um, kind of reinforcing now. I can't make rebar frames yet, but I do have concrete that we've looted from places. So what I'm doing is... You know, of course, flagstone to cobblestone, then cobblestone to concrete. Um, the inside layer of the wall will be cobblestone, and the outside layer is the one I'm going to upgrade to concrete. Figure that'll be a little smarter resource-wise. And I had some more cobblestone cooking up over here in the forge. So let's go see how that is doing. Did I really just break my leg? <laughs> yep. Okay, I'll have to go back over and make a splint here in a minute. I've got stuff to make one over there. Okay, yeah. Oh, and it's daytime. Hooray! The crazy heifers can stop running now. I hear somebody beating on something. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not going to get time to go make a splint. That's me. <laughs> I'm just taking out some of the locals that decided to stop by. Oh, are you being rude to our new neighbors? Extremely. Do it. <laughs> Be as rude as possible. And I'm really looking forward to kind of getting the, the seven day horde behind us so I can get a little deeper into actual building and some of the stuff I really want to do to this base. Uh, oh no, Gray! Yeah. I swear that was a feral because she I think she ran up. <laughs> I got yeah, I one. I haven't got my, my backpack yet. So. Oh yeah, she's still running. Oh no, 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 heifer. No. I said absolutely not, and I meant it. Yep, says Farrell. Yeah. I was thinking so. She had some painkillers on her. I ain't got Miss Sylvia over here yet. And I can't hey, hit the broad side of a barn. I gotta see you there is my other backpack. <gasps> Sylvia! Uh, <laughs> Sylvia, you took an oath. An oath to care and heal. Not murder and eat. Hey, I've still got a runner here. Why is he running? Must be another feral. Okay, let's try this one yeah. more time. Feral bow. He's got copper arrowheads on him. What can I throw away? I don't have anything I want to throw away to take them. See, that's a problem. You get so much stuff in this mod that you can use. It's like, ah, mm -hmm. I don't want to get rid of it. Hey, at least my leg's not broke anymore. Broken glass. Is that important in this mod? I can't remember. I can't remember. I know I use it when I'm infected, you know. To... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm chunking mine, so. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, right. I fell off the oh. ladder like an idiot. <sighs> yeah. Alright, well, I need the rotten flesh and the bones, so I'm gonna start carving some of these up. Sylvia! Alright, she did not despawn after murdering me. She's over there crawling away from the scene of the crime, and nope, that's not. She's not getting off that easy. <laughs> oh, Sylvia, darling. <sighs> Ah! 
she was feral too. And she had some sort of arrowheads on her. What were those? Those are copper. 89 of them. Can I go ahead and... Yeah. Alright. Wood feather and copper arrowhead. It's not great, but it will get the job done until you can smelt iron. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll find out. I'll definitely put those to the test. Well, I got enough large bones for my quest. I just need 111 more rotten flesh. Yeah, I need to work on some of my quests, too. But right now, my biggest concentration is trying to get all this done. Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to try to go ahead and get this episode, get at least another layer, outside layer here. So, um, that means we need to go ahead and chop all of that up. Can I repair that? Yes. Alright, let's just stop on those for right now and stop on those. Let that get done. Then I'll do the flagstone blocks. All right, I'm not here believing we go. I hadn't marked any trader. There was that one we went to the other day that's just like right up the hill. It's to the southeast, isn't it? I think so. Okay. I'm going to wait until I go there to make sure that's it. I need to go get rid of some junk. <laughs> I need Ooh, to as well. I need to go through all those chests and... Go ahead and carve up all these remains out here while I'm here. <gasps> oh! Look at me like a dummy. Run right up on my own trap. <laughs> Yeah, this episode, guys, I think is just going to be mainly about getting some defenses up. Because I'm pretty sure... I, Gray, what do you think? We're just going to have to hold the seven-day horde down here? Uh, I don't know. We may be able to, to make it elsewhere. Well, you know, we planned on building that horde base over there, um, over the top of that little pond. I'm just not sure how quickly we'd be able to get one up and going. Yeah. So we may have to do it here. I have bunny screaming. Are you killing a bunny? No. Hmm. Not yet. Somebody killing a bunny. <laughs> I heard it. I seen one oh. run earlier. He may have been, may have run up on the traps or something. Okay, let me run back inside. I really need to make. Uh, let's go hang out of this. Kill him. Yeah, I was working on that. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, Edgar. Oh, George. George sneaking up behind somebody. Who do you think you are? Oh, he had 96 bucks on him, though. Okay, I need to get back in and... Excuse me, dear. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I was carving up the corpses. And... I need to make another... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Do we have any? It's copper ingots we need to make the pickaxes, right? Uh -huh. I'm not seeing any. What do you mean? Oh, there they are. There they are. I'm just blind. That's all. No biggie. <laughs> no biggie. I'm just blind as a bat. Actually, bats can probably see better than me.
Okay. I must have looted this off of somebody. I got something here that I didn't know I had. Hmm. I had to have looted it. It's a steel pickaxe. And here I am worried with fixing the little copper one. It was in my inventory just sitting there. Okay. Well, hmm. I'm going to use it then. I don't, I'd like to know where I got it. It had to have been one of the zombies I looted during the night. Had to have been, right? Yeah. I just gotta bust out these plates. Uh, it'll come in handy, but it's gonna kill my stamina. Ugh, maybe we should switch back over to the copper one. I don't think it'll eat my stamina up as bad. Yeah, it'll take a little longer, but... Eh, it's about tit for tat, really. Wow. It's almost 100%. But it's a 416. And what'd you say it was again? A homemade steel pickaxe. Yeah, it turns that stamina up, too. Now, guys, once we do get the ability to make um, steel, the steel pickaxe reminded me of it. I want to go around and bust out probably the two middle rows on what's going to be the wall and replace those with uh, bars. Now, wait a minute. The bars... They're not, we don't have to have steel for those, but we are going to have to have that, um, iron perk, aren't we? I can't remember. I think we are. I'll go check it here in a minute, but I'm pretty sure we are. Why is that one? Oh, I missed that. Iron smithing covers forged iron, iron arrowheads, homemade iron fire axe, pickaxe, and shovel. And I think I got that iron smithing, didn't I? No, I got iron component crafting. Okay, I got, I just bought iron smithing. Well, that, I, what I was saying was it didn't look like it covered it. No, but it covers other things we're going to need, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and do as much of this as we can. And then we're going to have to go get more resources to work on this. I have purposely made it a point, guys, not to watch... Um, anybody's videos that's doing Finnick Mod and, um, you know, watch what their Horde Night is like because I kind of want to be, want it to be a surprise. At the same time, I'm kind of going, oh God, what are we in for? But I think it'll be fun for it to kind of be a surprise. There's a bunny screaming again. I bet they're yeah, getting fine. caught on our spikes. I found one of the other ones that was screaming, so. I saw it, bunnies. The spikes weren't meant for you. Gray's going to, who cares? It's meat. <laughs> yep. It's food. Man, we like food. Yeah, I reckon. Food. I gotta find. Oh, I need more cobblestone. Chicken and wolf. Do I have a shovel? Okay, no. Let's make a shovel. 
we need to get more clay. Mm, we're gonna need more cobblestone too. You know, it's one thing I have been surprised about with this little town, Gray. Ooh, that's a nasty hole. We've managed to find actually quite a bit of clay. I mean, not clay, um, concrete. Oh, yeah. I see Edgar trying to creep up on us. Let's tell him hello. Oh. Let's try these copper ones out, see how they do. Acres down. Call nine one one. What surprises me too in this mod is I found concrete on zombies I've looted, and I don't know if that's a normal thing, if that's something that Max designed on purpose. But I can't remember ever finding concrete on zombies in any other mod. Or even vanilla. Can you, Gray? Not that I can remember. Now, we got some out of the working stiff. Some out of that one little store around the corner from the working stiff. I don't know. Maybe this is Max's way of balancing it out. Since you can't actually make... A lot of stuff until much higher levels than normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, the trader won't buy the old cash. Really? I've got a whole bunch of it. He won't buy it. At least not for me, anyway. Hmm. Um, Did you insult hmm. him? I don't know. <laughs> the only thing he'll buy is well, he'll buy a copper pickaxe for one duke oh wow <clears throat> and eggs for one duke hmm brass ten pieces he'll give you one duke he's rather stingy in other words right Bottle of water, he'll buy one bottle of water for one duke. Oh, but he'll give four dukes for a honey. No, oh, of course <laughs> he will. I think not. <laughs> so, Mr. Trader, it's been nice doing business with you. <laughs> but we're done. Yep. I believe we're done here. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, what have I got that I can drop? Because I want to loot this corn. Alright. Really need to get in here and get some more of this made up. Okay. That's my answer. Nothing. Okay, yeah, we gotta put some more clay in there. Get it smelting down. We can take what we've got, though. And we're gonna go ahead and make some more flagstone blocks. Now, guys, this is probably just gonna be a really, as long as the zombies allow, <laughs> be a really laid-back episode just trying to build get defenses in place that sort of thing so <laughs> now I need to go around here and see how I started this another zombie 
Oh, there, there's Ambi. It's George. Of the jungle? Well, <laughs> concrete <Not> jungle, quite. <laughs> maybe. Oh, got him right in the noggin. Sorry about that, George. There you go. I had to put you out of your misery. It's the only humane thing to do. There. Yeah, we need to go ahead and get some of these out of the way. I don't know. Should we make these walls double thick or just one layer all the way around? What, what do you think, Gray? What's that now? Should we make the walls double thick or just one layer all the way around? I don't think you could go wrong with double layers. It wouldn't seem like it. There's another big hole there. Huh. I think in maybe double layers and then um, dig a trench around it, drop the spikes in upside down. That'd work. And then put like a catwalk and some wood frames around the top. Sounds like a plan. And I can't remember how high was that. Was that four high? One, two. Oh, yeah, I think that's four. Let me do it like this. Kind of double check here. One, two. Three, you want me to start grabbing four. some wood yeah. log spikes? If you feel up to it. <coughs> I'm out of cobblestone. Bad gimmick. Bad gimmick. Okay. Let's go around here and put these in place. So basically for the next couple of in-game days, all I need to concentrate on is gathering stone and clay and wood. Got that cobblestone cooking up inside. That'll give us enough to hopefully will give us enough to finish our first layer here. Well, I've got the clay smelting down. I'm probably going to need to go in there and fire the cobblestone up. That'll get our first layer down. Then I can concentrate on the second layer and then dig in the trench and putting the spikes in. Hopefully between that double layer and then the added protection of leaving these pieces of the fence up, maybe that'll kind of help keep out any unwanted visitors. <laughs> Gray's got us a garden started, so we'll have food. 
No starving to death for us. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Gray's always been good about one of the first things he does is start up a garden. So, oh, we just started our new starvation map on our server the other night. And the first thing Gray did was get to work on that garden. So, when the rest of us don't starve to death in starvation, we'll have Gray to thank for that. <laughs> Because the rest of us too busy worrying about running around looting. <laughs> Just because we love to loot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have been getting resources together on there for, you know, getting a build started, building defenses and stuff, so. Yeah. Hopefully it's all going to go well. Miss Start and Grid is fairly new to Starvation. She plays with us on the server and, uh, She's definitely never seen a starvation horde, so when it's telling her about, you know, like the wall crushers and stuff like that, she's like, nope, I'll stay in the mine all night. <laughs> and I guarantee you that's what she's going to do, too. <laughs> More than likely. I think the only ones of us playing on that server that have much experience with Starvation are uh, me and Gray and uh, Miss Jamie Tigress, I believe. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Yeah, that steel pickaxe, wherever it came from, it had to have been one of those nighttime zombies. It's a blessing, but it's also a curse. <laughs> It tears the stamina up like nobody's business. I'm sure it's somebody's business. Ha <laughs> smart Alec. <laughs> oh, a Zambi. A Zambi? A dead Zambi. I cut him up. I cut him up with my pickaxe. Okay, let's see if okay, I can were get... Okay, you saying that you had some wolf meat somewhere? Or did uh... I already get that? I can't remember. I've been trying to remember to put the food in that food chest, but I may have forgotten. I must have already gotten it. Oh, well. I need one more wolf meat. Wait a minute. Did you <laughs> check in here? Um, I guess you already got it because I'm not seeing it. I see the rabbit and I see the boar and the deer. Don't see any wolf. Double check. No, I don't have any on me. I think you did. I think you got that last week when we played. Hey. What? I, I searched the uh, the beehive said ready, so I searched it. Got a honeycomb. Oh. Uh, worker bee and a queen bee. Cool. Okay, we've got more cobblestone cooking up. I guess we need to find something to occupy ourselves with until that gets done. That's going to take several minutes. Well, darn it. Well, I didn't know that if you, if you closed it out, you lost whatever was in there, just like a storage chest or whatever. Oh, no. That's okay. <laughs> I got the queen out of there, so I put her back in so she can do her thing again. Well, since I'm going to have to wait a little while for, um, what are your plans right now, Gray? I try to figure out somewhere to dump all this stuff. Make, uh, another scrap knife because I'm, I broke mine. <laughs> no. Uh, and I'm not sure what else just yet. I was going to say, if you wanted to, while we're waiting on that cobblestone to finish cooking up, we could um, run over to that apartment building and loot it up. Three plant fibers. Let me take care of some stuff real quick. We'll do it. Alrighty. So it looks like we might get a little more fun in other than just plain old building today, guys. 
I'm always up for some fun. Let's go ahead and dump some stuff off though. Don't want to have too much on us. Want to have plenty of room for whatever we end up looting up. Let's go ahead and make another bone shiv. Okay, and then we can put those bones in that chest. Um, put that in there. We can put that in there. Um, can I repair that? What does it take to repair? Forged steel. Mm. Yeah, so can't repair that. Ah, that sucks so bad. I'm going to put the hammer up. Uh, put the concrete in there. Put the iron in there. Okay. That'll leave us a little bit of room for some looting. And while we're waiting on Gray, I'll go ahead and start chopping some of these up. Because we're going to need to take these down. And guys, I'm thinking about doing something I've never really done on this channel before. I am thinking about going ahead and... Oh shoot, I left my iron in there and my axe just broke. Let's go get that iron. I am considering starting a 7 Days to Die that will be a daily thing. Um, probably just a vanilla map just something to have a little bit of fun until a17 drops and guys next week my regular full-time schedule should start up um not going to be able to do the whole schedule this week but i've figured out what the schedule is going to be i'll post it either tomorrow or the day after and it'll go into effect next week so We'll be back to having art and medieval engineers, rising world, all that stuff. Oh, those goodies. I oh, love them. Every single last one of them. <laughs> well, I do like having the full lineup up every week. It's just so much stuff has been going on. and Yeah. Keep chopping. This at least gets us back some of the wood we're going to need to put the fences up around that second layer once we get it done. And I had thought about tearing this fence down all the way around uh, both places. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is just leave it as is. And from one of those upstairs windows there, build a bridge from there right on across over to here. And at some point, I'm going to try to get all the water out of the basement of this building. Then we can use it for a proper crafting room. You know, put more forges in it, put um, workbench in it, all that good stuff. Now, Gray, I was thinking, uh, if A17 drops and Max updates Spinnick Mod for A17 pretty quickly, I was thinking I'd like to kind of keep this one going and see it up, see it on through for, through, you know, a few hordes. Yeah, I'm good what? with that. Okay. Maybe have this one going and then have an A17 version going around the same time or something. And of course, yeah. cut this one shorter than the A17, but still keep it going for a little while. All right, I'm ready, I reckon. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Where are you? Getting ready to craft me a bow. 
Uh, let's see. Need a few wood and a few plant fibers. Oh, there you are. I was going, where is he? And the wood won't take but a sec. These need to go. I accidentally put these down the other night. Uh, I thought I had my wood frames in place. And I had these in place. And I accidentally put them down. going to lay out the outline of wh around where I want to put the towers. Now i got to bust them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Let's go kick some zombie butt. Or get our butts kicked by zombies. One of the two. I'm here to chew bubble gum and kick butt. I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> My daddy used to say that when we were in trouble when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> That or I'm gonna kick butt and take names. Mm -hmm. All right, apartment building. And I'm tired of writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could have sworn I saw a bunch of zombies in this parking lot the other day. All right, let's loot up these cars first. Oh, you in that one? Yep, got a mining helmet. Ah. What's in here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Got some wood out of that one. Some gas barrels over. Well, you turd! <laughs> Listen to him, y'all. Because <laughs> he's evil and such. I'm not evil. Lie! <laughs> Hey! Got some ammo! Nice! Let's grab that hope. barrel. Of course, yo oh, Is that a mine? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I was standing right on top of it, so let's hope it's not. That should be good. Yep. If I blow up, y'all know it was Gray's <laughs> fault because he told me it was okay. Got 11 note fragments. That darn, um... Oh, 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 oh. Le uh, supply drop. Hey, there's a deer standing right there staring at us. I got two weaponsmithing books. You want one? Sure. Alright. I'm gonna drop it in this car right here. The blue car. Dang, I keep missing him. I got one in the side. Lead out. Lead out. He's running away. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> cool. Bone shiv. I got him. I got him, uh, y'all. Another mining helmet. Wow. <laughs> Any other time, I wouldn't be able to find yeah, one. Yeah, I was going to say, if we needed them, they'd be nowhere around. Absolutely nowhere. Oh, Brittany. Dang, I missed her. I didn't that time. <laughs> of course, she had nothing. That figures. And there's another barrel. I want to collect all these gas barrels. I mean, it makes all me right, nervous. Look in, look in this car back here. Okay. Makes me nervous enough that, um, this one. Thank you very much, as bunches. I got milk and some more beef meat stew. That's one thing. It seems like meat stew is pretty easy to loot in this mod. Alright, I just took out Edgar over there. Alright, let's break into this joint. 
I've been into one of these one time before. It was actually kind of neat. Quite a bit to loot in it, though. And quite a few small spaces. So, yeah. I can make a partial whoa, run. Whoa, 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 <laughs> She's dead. And stay out. <laughs> oh, crap. I hear dogs. Yeah, guys, we won't be able to make it through this whole building tonight or loot it all tonight. Gray does have work tomorrow, so. Very early in the morning. Okay, this door is locked. Hmm. Why is it locked? Let's find out. Well, look at that. She walked right on past me. She walked right out past me. Where are you going, heifer? She actually made me chase her down. <laughs> are you serious with that crap? What did, what did you have in here? Was anybody in here with you? Should I be worried? Um, I got a toolsmithing book. I'm going to save one for you. Okay. I got 75 more airheads. Awesome. And 90 more airheads. And I am completely full already. Wow. Okay. Let's start scrapping some stuff. We're going to drink that milk see what it does for us. I am actually kind of worried about drinking a carton of milk that came off a zombie, though. I ain't going to lie, y'all. Oh, why would you worry about that? Oh, I don't know. You know, curdled, all kinds of crap. Yeah. Okay. What do we got over here? Um, we'll scrap you. We're gonna scrap you. I'm gonna take these plants because I intend on fixing our base up pretty like. Oh, nice and pretty. Oh, nice and pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, we're gonna scrap that. Oh, crap. That's low grade. We're gonna go ahead and scrap that. Take those. Ah, uh, scrap those. Watch. Half the stuff I'm scrapping, we'll find out later. We desperately needed. <laughs> nice little laundry room got a chute going out back for the garbage. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> okay, this one's locked. Why is it locked? What'd you do with that uh, schematic you said you had for me? I've still got it on me. Oh, okay. You want to come down here and get it? Yeah, it'll work. I didn't know if you had left it somewhere for me or... Okay, we will scrap that. Oh, no room. Oh, crap. Alright, let's get rid of the bone. Uh... Yeah. Don't you do that now. Uh, uh. Uh, make you think of uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, there's another bookcase in here. I'm not sure what all's in it. Wow, a hunting knife book. Oh, I'm, sweet. I'm going to leave it and the toolsmithing book in here for you. Alright, I'm trying to get the. Hunting I'm rifle schematic. Now. Nice! Oh, 
No, not the paper, baby. Alright, maybe I'm getting to where you're at. I'm cutting my way through. Why? You were in the hall I was in earlier. Oh. Shoot, I'm outside. What floor are you on? I'm on the first floor where we killed or where I killed the little putrid heifer. Hey, there you are. this way. I cut a hole through to the outside. Oh, my Lord. So you just let the zombies in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. It's in that bookcase right there. All right. I was wondering why you kept saying you were having such a hard time getting to me. <laughs> yep. Yep. That was a little bit pitiful. <laughs> I heard you tearing stuff apart, and I thought... What's I've got doing? a squeezer schematic and a scrap helmet schematic too, but I, we can't, or at least I can't read either one of them so far. Uh, put them in there and I'll see if I can. I doubt I can. And I have I'll no room left on me. Okay, see if you can read those. If not, I'll stack them back in my inventory. Nope. Alright. We'll just hang on to them until we can read them. Okay. Hmm. Huh. What about this next one? I'm gonna do this last room, and then, guys, we're probably gonna have to call it here for today. I may get some work done off camera while Gray is sleeping. Uh, iron reinforced club and a shotgun short stock. I don't think we really need either one, and they're both very low quality. Ah. Well, this this room ain't really got a scrap copper. Uh, there's some note fragments in this duffel bag. I don't see him. The duffel bag under the TV. Oh. All right. I can't remember how many. Let me see how many you got there. I have friends. Hey, you dropped leather. Well, it wasn't on intentional. <laughs> I'm picking it up. Where is that Zambi? It sounds like it's down that way. And I can't get there because of this. Okay, you gotta have a thousand note fragments to make a class paper. Okay. Well, we've got several back at the base, so... Yeah. I was just trying to remember what we had to have. Why can I not hit that? There we go. I hear it. Oh, wow. You hit me. <laughs> Sylvia, what's up, chick? You know you're not getting your security deposit back after what you did. Hello, okay, Gray. I am loaded down. What about you? I am too, but there's four bookcases in this room that we were just in. I know. And there's bookcases in all these, a lot of these other rooms. Nope, fragments. First aid kit and leather hood schematic. Mm, go ahead and read them. Oh, there's two of each, so I'm reading one of each and I'll leave you the Why other. Why are we getting two of everything? Did I accidentally set the loot to 200%? I had to. On 150 or 200, it'll do that. Right, I could swear I had it set to just 100, though. 
bottom two cases. I don't know if you got room for the other one or not, but... Mm, I can read it. Ooh, painting book. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> I figured you would like that one. That's why I left it in there. Go ahead and get the other one, too. We can sell it to the trader, maybe. Um, I don't have room for it. Mm. Unless I drop something. Well, hold on. Let me see what I got here. What can I... I can get rid of this bone shield and then I can grab it. And then we got to head home. Because there's, like, no more room at all. <laughs> So we are out, peoples. We will be back. What do you say we finish looting this place up and getting horde things done next week? That sounds like a plan. Hey, we got an Edgar triple triple thread out here. A crawler Edgar and two standing Edgars. Edgar, what up, dude? Don't touch me. Crawler Edgar, what's up, man? Oh, you turd? Okay. All Edgars have been dispatched. <laughs> I was trying to see what they had on them, see if there's anything worth dropping anything for anyway. Oh, he had some painkillers on him, though. And luckily, I already had some in my inventory. Eh. Alrighty, guys, we are going to head home and have to call this video here. Like I said, I may get some of this stuff done off camera so that we can go ahead and, you know, get some progress really going in this mod and be ready for the horde. Finish them off. Oh, I missed that gum. What's wrong with me? I think we both got him that time. Search him <laughs> up, darling. Search him up. But, alright, guys. Make sure you go check out Gray's channel, by all means. If you haven't already checked out the Rise series, be sure to check it out and be on the lookout for Sandbox and City of Hope coming very, very soon. And... Again, as always, thank you guys. You, I know I say it all the time, but I really mean it. I appreciate all your support of the channels, the book series, Gray, me, everything. You guys totally rock. And all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here for now. Till next time, we will catch y'all later. Bye-bye.